Hi and welcome. This video is part of a complete Terraform course I have available. The link with a big discount is on the description. Make sure to check that out and let's get started. Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll focus on changing the EC2 instance to use a publicly available Nginx AMI. Let's figure out the AMI ID that we need to use for that. So let's click here on the left side, we have images, AMI catalog, let's click here. And then we will have a bunch of things here. We are interested in the AWS marketplace AMIs. If we click here and then we type Nginx, then we will see that there are a couple of results that are actually more than 500 results. So to help us filter through them, let's click here on the left side under pricing model, we're going to click on free. The moment we do that and we scroll a little bit to the top, then we will see that there are a few results. And the one that we will select is this Bitnami package for Nginx open source. So you will see here that there is a brief description. Let's click here on select. And then we will see here that if we click under the pricing information, that the Bitnami package actually costs $0 an hour. Right, so if we expand here, you'll see that EC2 changes or charges for micro instances are free for up to 750 hours that we already know. So if we select here T2 micro, then we would be billed after this free tier for 13 cents or actually that's 1.3 cents per hour if we run it. But the, the software here, the AMI is going to remain free. So that's the one that we want. However, this has no information about the AMI ID. If we look here, we cannot really find it. So how can we find it is to actually let's come here to the side and click on instances. We're going to launch a new instance and then we're going to look for Nginx here. And here we can scroll down a little bit or actually let's click on browse more AMIs. And then here we will see the same screen. So that's the same thing. We're going to select or we're going to search for Nginx. Once we do that, we will select once again here on the left side, the free tier or the images which are only free. We're going to click on select here. And then we're going to click here, scroll down, subscribe on instance launch. Once we do that, you will see that we have more information here. This is the AMI from catalog tab. And then here it shows the AMI ID. Just for comparison, let me change this to another region. I'm going to change to North Virginia. And here we're going to click on browse more AMIs. So AMIs from the marketplace There are a few more actually you see that it's not for every region that all the AMIs are available. But I believe that this Nginx here should be roughly available in all the regions. So let's click on free and then scroll up a little bit more. And then once again, we have this one. Let's click on subscribe on instance launch and we have the AMI ID and we can already see that this AMI ID is different than this AMI ID. So make sure that you have take you, you're taking the AMI ID here according to the region you are working on. Great. So what we would like to do is to select this AMI ID and we will come back to the IDE and we're going to use this AMI ID. Back in the IDE, let's come to the compute file here and we will change this from the old AMI to the new AMI ID. And that's all we need to do actually. There is, this is a small change. However, behind the scenes, what Terraform is going to do is it will replace this instance with the new instance containing this AMI ID. So let's have a look at our Terraform plan command and see the changes that it would like to execute. Perfect. So as you can see here, it is slightly different than when we added our VPC security group IDs. Now Terraform is going to destroy one object or one resource and it will add one resource. If we scroll up a little bit, we will see here that let's see where is the top here. So the change of the AMI forces a replacement of this instance. The AWS API does not support an in-place change for AMIs and it makes sense because you're basically changing the software that is running in your EC2 instance. So the AWS instance web must be replaced. Therefore, we will have here a minus and a plus. This means in Terraform that the resource will be replaced and that's because of the change in the AMI ID. 
Let's go ahead and let's run the Terraform apply. This will plan once again, we're going to type yes. However, let's pay attention to what's going to happen now. As soon as we press enter, you will see that Terraform starts destroying the old instance. This is the default behavior of Terraform that we have already discussed. That Terraform will destroy before creating the replacement. In many cases, this is not the behavior that you actually want. Like you would like Terraform to create the replacement and then destroy the old version so that you have as little downtime as possible. However, the default behavior is basically Terraform destroys everything and then it starts creating the new instance. Let's wait a little bit until Terraform finishes the creation. And then we also need to wait a minute or two until the instance actually comes online and is reachable via its public IP. And then we should be able to reach out the Nginx server. And once we can confirm that the Nginx server is reachable, what we will do is we will come here and we will tell Terraform explicitly for it to first create the new instance and then destroy the old instance. Let's come back to the console now. And here we should be able to see our new instance in the console. Let's refresh this. The terminated one is our old instance. The running one is our new instance. And we'll see that the status check here is still initializing. So if we click here, we should also be able to identify our public IPv4 address. We also have a private IPv4 address that we could use for internal communication within the VPC. However, we are interested in this public IPv4 address. I suppose that when we click here, this is not going to be reachable. And that's because behind the scenes, the Nginx server is still being initialized. So we need to wait a little bit. Let's give it a minute or two, and then I'll come back to the video here and refresh this page. Great. So while we wait a little bit, one or two minutes, I believe that took not much. Uh, and now the error that we get is actually different. We get a connection is not private and that's because we do not have any certificate set up here. However, that means that our connection is actually going through, which is great. So if we click in advanced and proceed to this IP, then we should actually be able to see the Nginx page loading. Congratulations, you have just deployed your first EC2 instance running some software and doing everything with Terraform. There was nothing that we did in the console except for browsing some information so that we could add the correct values to Terraform. However, all the creation and all the manage of all the resources that we are using was done via Terraform. So let's now go back to the IDE here. And as discussed, we would like Terraform to first create the new instance and then destroy the old instance. So one way of doing that, or actually the correct way of doing that is by using a life cycle method and or a life cycle meta argument. And then we will simply say here, create before destroy, and we will set this to true. So all this does is to override the default behavior of Terraform of destroying before creating. And now once we change, let's here change our AMI ID to the old one. And since I don't remember that, let me just undo this here. And now this should be the old one. Let's double check. Perfect. And now here we will inform lifecycle create before destroy and we'll set it to true. So now let's once again run the Terraform apply command. We will see that because we changed the AMI ID, then this also requires a replacement. We will see one to add and one to destroy. But now once we type yes here, we will see that the AWS instance.web will start being created instead of being destroyed. So Terraform is now creating the new resource. And once this new resource is created, it will start destroying the old one. Now you can see that the creation was completed and now Terraform is finally destroying the old object. Perfect. So this now shows that we are successfully creating a new EC2 instance before destroying the old one. Great. Once all the destruction and the creation has taken place, we can come back to our IDE. If we were to refresh, that's not going to work because this instance is not running anymore. It has been terminated. So now if we come here to our instances, then we will see that we have two terminated and one running. This one that is running here is not running Nginx. 
so it's not going to be accessible whenever we try to reach out to that. However, if we were to actually, let's just for the sake of consistency here, because I want to leave things on a nice state, all I'm going to do is I'm just coming and picking up the AMI ID once again, because I don't remember that. So let's click on free. And then here we can select this one. We can click on subscribe on instance launch, and then we can get the AMI ID here. So now back to our to, to VS Code, let's then override it here. Actually, just for the sake of completeness, let me add here just AMI Nginx. AMI ID Nginx is this one. And then the AMI ID Ubuntu is this one here. All right, so I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. And then we can now use the AMI ID here. So this is the one from Nginx. I'm not going to execute any of the changes because we already saw that this works and we already saw how to work with it. So let's take a short break right now and come back in the next video where we cover destroying all our resources.